What is up? This is Mikhail with Hustle System, where art meets commerce. Today, I'm coming to you from this beautiful beach in Cape Town, South Africa. And in this video, we are going to be talking about how to get clients. We're gonna get down to the brass tacks. We got this beautiful view, but what we need to do is dial in because the most common question that I get is, Mikhail, how do I get my first client? And that's what this video is gonna be about. If you are somebody who is just figuring out this entrepreneurial lifestyle, if you're working on it at five, we're gonna show you how to get your first client. And if you're already getting clients, we're gonna show you how to get more clients and get them more consistently. So what's the number one thing that you need to understand in order to get clients? Well, that's this idea that value is based on perception. So the value that somebody has as far as monetary on something is different irrespective of the person that they are. So for example, for me, the value of being able to drive a certain car is something for you, that value might be different. So in order to get that first client, you have to get inside your mind the perspective of what is the value that you have to somebody else and what is the dollar amount that they would put on that product or service or delivery of value that you bring to the table. Because, you know, as a marketer, you could argue, like, take copywriting. Mm -hmm. What is copywriting really? Just a bunch of words on a page, right? How much value is there in a bunch of words on a page? You could argue there's not a lot of value, but what if you take those same words and you craft an offer that then generates tens of thousands of dollars per month, if not millions of dollars for the course of the year? Well, what's the value of that to your product or service or your potential client and uh, dial into that. So right now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a look at your current skill set, okay? But that might be copywriting, that might be marketing. You might not have a wide range of skill sets, but we're gonna get you your first client by the end of this video. So you're gonna go ahead, you're gonna audit your skill set. What are the things that I know how to do, okay? You might know how to take great pictures. You might know how to you know, fix computers. What is that thing that you know how to do better than anybody else in your social circle. Now, the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna dial into, well, who are the people that would want that offering? Who are the people that would put a high amount of value on that specific thing that you offer, right? So take marketing, for example. I could sit here, I could hunt down random people and say, hey, do you need marketing? Hey, do you need marketing? Hey, do you need marketing? And they like don't even know what marketing is. They'd be like, well, I guess like I'll pay you $5 for marketing. Right? That doesn't do me any good. So rather than going shotgun scattershot approach of going, oh, well, I hope I can deliver something to everybody. No, what you wanna do is you wanna be hyper specific. You wanna hone in on a skill set and say, you know what, what is the type of person, what is the avatar of the person that would offer me the highest amount of dollar value on the skill that I'm bringing to the table? So in my case, I look for entrepreneurs that are doing $100,000 plus per month and I go to them and I say, look, what if we took you from $130,000 to $250,000 per month? What would that be worth to you? Would that be worth ten dollars or $20,000 per month? Right? So what you wanna do is you wanna find an exponential amount of value so that you can actually make a living, so that you can actually start to build that lifestyle. So uh, again, how to get the first client. Number one, dial into your skill set. Number two is create the avatar that would put a high level of value on that skill set. Number three is you're gonna put yourself into situations where those people exist. It might be a conference, it might be a Facebook group, it might be going out in person and meeting these people, getting elbows in the mud, rubbing elbows with the people that are your prospective clients. And what you're gonna do is you're going to survey them. So your challenge for this video is you are going to define that avatar and then you're going to go out in person and find three people that match that avatar. So if it's an entrepreneur that does $100,000 per month plus, it's gonna be a lot harder to find that. You're gonna have to go to a marketing convention. You're gonna have to do a lot of research. But you know what? If it's a business that needs something like an SEO service or a social media management service or some copywriting and they need to be doing, let's say, $10,000 per month because all you wanna get is an extra thousand or $2,000 per month. Well, that's gonna be a lot easier to find and your job is gonna be to go out and say, you know what, I know that there is a business down the street that is about ten dollars to $15,000 per month 
judging by the amount of people they have through the door. I'm gonna go up to them and I'm gonna talk to them and say, hey, what does your website look like? What does your branding look like? What does your social media look like? And if they don't have that, that's a service that you can fulfill if that falls inside of your skill sets. Okay, very, very powerful. Now, if you're already getting clients and you have a couple of clients and you wanna scale that up, what I urge you to do is rather than going out and getting three new people that match the avatar, we're gonna do is something different. If you have clients, you're gonna get three referrals. You're gonna take your existing client base and you're gonna ask them, hey, how have you liked my service offering? How has the value that I brought to the table affected you? Listen, I need some help. Would you mind recommending me to one other person who could maybe benefit from my services? I'm even offering to do something for free for them, for cheap for them, give them a consultation, what have you. Okay, so if you're brand new, three new people. Define the avatar, find three of them, and you're going to survey. You're not gonna pitch them, you're not going to you, you know, try and sell them on a package, none of that. You're going to go and you're gonna offer value, you're gonna establish a relationship, and you're going to get their feedback on what is it that they find to be the highest point of value. And what you'll notice is the higher up that you go, the more that people place their value on time rather than money. Okay, let me repeat that, the higher up you go, the more people place their value on time rather than money. So what that means is, if you can create a skill set or a value proposition that saves people time, you've got a real business. In fact, you could build an entire industry of just time saving for, let's say, executives, entrepreneurs, business people, and that in and of itself could be an entire multi-million dollar per year company if you chose to do it correctly. So rather than thinking about, okay, how can I squeeze a dollar out of every single person you meet? No, go define that client base, find three of them. You're going to provide them with value and you're gonna survey them and you're gonna say, what are the things that you place value on? And then you're gonna ask yourself the question of, is that something that I can actually assist with? Now, if the answer is no, you might want to pivot your skill set and adjust your skill set so that you can actually provide high levels of value for these clients. And if you're somebody who already has clients, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to three of your clients and you're gonna ask them to offer you a referral. And here's what's interesting here, is if they say no, if you say, hey, could you refer me to somebody who could benefit? And they say, listen, I don't really have anybody. You go, really? You don't know anybody else in your industry that could benefit. That's odd. Is that really the reason why you're not going to recommend you? Or is there something that you're not happy with that I'm under delivering on? Okay, take the time to establish that connection. So again, we're here, beautiful Cape Town. You know, we could be utopian here and we could say, well, we, could, we should all live an amazing life. Well, no, if you want to live an amazing life, you need to get results for yourself and you need to deliver results to other people. So hopefully this video was helpful for you. I'm gonna recap. So if you're brand new and you don't have any clients, you're going to look at your value proposition, your skill sets that you have. You're gonna define the perfect avatar for yourself. And then you're going to find three of those people in person, okay? You, Facebook counts, Instagram DM counts, but you know what really counts? Face to face, eye to eye. Get that real human interaction get that real human connection going. You're gonna survey them, you're gonna offer them value, you're gonna to offer to help, and you're gonna figure out what is that thing that they place value on that is exponential to the dollar amount that they're willing to pay. And if you're somebody who already has clients, you're gonna reach out to three clients and you're going to survey them and you're going to ask them to recommend your product or service to one of their friends, one of their colleagues, one of their family members, associates, what have you, and if they do not feel comfortable recommending, you're going to find out why because that iterative process is what's going to make a big difference for you in your business, in your life. As always, this is Mikhail with Hustle System. If you liked the video, please like the video down below. It really does matter. And comment below, what is the exponential source of value that you provide? What is that one thing that you feel is your passion project that you bring to the table that you do better than anybody else? Is it copywriting? Is it that you understand human psychology? Is it that you're a better marketer than anybody? What is that one thing that you have that you bring to the table? Comment that down below. Subscribe to the channel so you can be notified when I upload more. This has been Mikhail with Hustle System, where our meets commerce coming to you from Cape Town, South Africa. Always a pleasure, and I will see you in the next one.